Question 11. The figure below represents the curve of the function y is equals to 1 minus a sine wx for the range negative 35 degrees less than or equal to x less than or equal to 50 degrees. So you can see the graph is here. And uh, the question is determine the values of a and w. Determine the values of a and w. Now the equation, or right here, the equation of the function of that curve is given as y is equals to. So write it here, y is equals to one minus a sine w x. So using this um, curve, you're supposed to find the values of a. And w. Don't forget that A is the amplitude and uh, we need to know how we get the amplitude from this curve. The amplitude is the highest point the curve reaches and uh, when you look at this wave to get uh, the amplitude with this how we do it. We check the highest point of that curve the highest point which is uh, 3 is 3 you can see 3 that is the highest point so this is how we get a so 3 then subtract the lowest point of that curve the lowest point of that curve is here negative 1 it is negative 1 so get the difference and then divide that by 2 is the best way you can get the amplitude of this curve so look at the highest point of that curve which is 3 uh, the lowest point of that curve, which is negative 1, get the difference, get the average of that. This will give um, 4 divided by 2, and the value of A will be 2. So that is how you get it. So, by simply checking the highest point of the curve, which is uh, 3, yeah, then subtract the lowest point of that curve, which is a negative 1. You subtract it, then get the average of that, divide that by 2, and that will give you the value of A. Now let's go to W. Now W, we're going to use the period to get the this uh, value of W. So for example, how do we get the period? Now to get the period, the period of this uh, curve, we get it by using this formula 360 divided by W. Remember, for any function of y is equals to, let's say, a sine uh, bx plus theta. Remember, the period is given by 360 divided by b so this is just a general system remember you can have either sine or cosine so in this case the period of this curve looking at this function will be given by 360 divided by w and the period we can get the period of this curve by simply looking at the curve itself and uh, the period is the degrees that this curve will make in order to make one complete turn from where it begins that is uh, negative 35 until it comes back to that x-axis so you can see it makes a one complete turn from negative 35 degrees then goes and um, is back the x-axis at 25 so therefore the period will be given by so period will be given by 25 25 subtract negative 35 you to get this will give 60 degrees so this is the period because it is from negative 35 all the way to 25 degrees that is when it makes one complete turn 
and that is the period so now after getting that it is possible now to get the value of w so period is obtained by 360 so 360 divided by w is equals to this is the period and the period is 60 degrees so when you solve this you'd be able to get w so this will be 360 360 is equals to 60 w just cross multiply 360 is equals to 60 w and uh, w will be given by 6 so that is how you get the values of a and w so a is 2 and w so a is 2 and w is 6